the idea that people have said, um, actually, there's, <laughs> there's research that shows that people actually want to turn first to their church when they're struggling, but they have found that they're not getting what they would want to get, the support that they need from their religious communities because of some of this religious stigma. And so these are just some of the ideas that have permeated the church culture and impacted and, and again, can lead to the um, despair that people feel like they're alone in this. And so they are... I, when I look at this, you know, I say, like, not only is this unbiblical, I also think it's just unkind <laughs> to, you know, so w when we say to somebody, like, your mental health struggles are an indication of, or a punishment for your sin, or they're an indication that you don't have enough faith, or that you're not relying on God enough, uh, the message that, that that sends to somebody who is actually struggling with this mental health condition is like, okay, now it's leading to guilt and shame, and that is not conducive to experiencing the recovery and the wholeness of health that God intends for us. And it's clearly rooted in a lack of understanding. So I think that's, again, part of the reason why we're talking about this today, so we can have that understanding, we can share it with other people, um, and make sure that nobody is feeling marginalized or ostracized because of an illness that they have.